Hey folks, Logger John here. Uh, it's Thursday, November the 4th. It's around 4.30. There's the Massey. My chainsaw. Uh, the other night I cut an elm just right over there. I'm back to cut another one. I want to get at least one more out tonight. Just got home from work. There's an alum right here. It is a rock alum. I don't cut a lot of rock alum. We have three types of alum basically around here. We have rock alum, American white alum, and uh, slippery alum, or some people call it red alum. And this is a rock alum right there. So I'm going to cut that. It's going to fall out in the field here. Well, it's not really a hay field. It's pasture, but I'm going to have to clean it up. But Okay, I'm going to set you guys up somewhere. Okay, clean up time. Well, <laughs> I had a lot of stuff to go through there. Well, she's out here. I can uh, limit up here and Maybe cut it right there, take two pieces out maybe, I'll see. Decisions, look at that eh, stuck right in the ground. Okay guys, stay tuned while I limb this up here and decide what I'm going to do. I'm either going to like take it in two pieces or I'm going to limb it up and try to, try to just drag it out in the field here and get so I can get at the butt of it. It's easier to skid, but yeah, this is a this is what they call a rock alum. Now my dad used to call them twisty alums, but I think because the limbs on them, if you look at them, see the way the limbs curl back, and there's all little ones, and they're all kind of. I think that's why my dad used to call them twisty alums, but the proper name is rock alums. Makes good wood. It's no harder though, really, than uh, American alum or white alum. The softest alum actually is uh, the slippery alum. It splits really good. A lot is uh, actually, can't really see it from here, but if you look back in there, uh, there's a slippery alum, still alive. Kind of hard to see, but. A lot of the times the slippery alum, uh, the grain is all nice and straight and it splits really nice. I've cut a few uh, slippery alums in here over the years. There's not too many. Uh, a couple years ago in some of my videos I cut some back on the lake, by the lake there. If you watch, I forget the name of the video, but uh, we cut some uh, slippery alum. Makes really nice wood. Anyways, going to get this cleaned up here. Stay tuned guys. Okay folks, my battery's dying here so I can't uh, can't talk too long but I got the tree up here 
hooked onto the butt so uh, I didn't film it because like I said my battery was dying uh, I limbed it up right here pushed the brush out of the way and then I hooked onto the top of it and I pulled it out in the field pretty far so I could get at the butt of it and then I hooked onto the butt here and uh, brought it up to here so far I just got to go out to the house uh, forgot to bring my other battery I thought this one was still good but it's got a few seconds left here but it's a good chunk of an element it's not too big around but she's pretty heavy okay guys thanks for watching we'll get this out to the wood pile Hey guys, Logger John here, and I just finished plowing the garden, and now I am out here at the wood pile, and I got some trees to cut up. As you can see, got my little MS-170 here. Gonna cut up at least some of the small stuff with it. So far so good with a little saw. So, I'm going to get at it. I'm going to set you guys up and uh, see how it goes. It's a beautiful day. It's about plus, uh, I think it's the plus 11 or Celsius right now. Okay guys, stay tuned.
Okay guys, it's time to break out the big uh, saw now. I'm gonna go get my 036, cut up the bigger pieces. I'm gonna stack all this little stuff up and, uh, oh, it's windy, hope you can hear me. Got my little MS-170 here, it's doing pretty good. It's great for this little stuff here. Uh, nice and light. Need to touch up the chain though. It's getting a little bit dull so anyways I'm gonna finish doing this and call it a day for today for this project anyway. <laughs> I got a few other little things to do and we got to uh, turn the clock back tonight one hour. Yeah this is the weekend to turn your clock back. So it's going to be uh, dark like at five o'clock Okay guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.